Boric Turkish pronunciation, B -O -stroke -ek, also Beric and other variants is a family of baked filled pastries made of a thin flaky dough known as filo or yufka, of Anatolian origins and also found in the cuisines of the Balkans, Levant, Mediterranean, and other countries in Eastern Europe and Western Asia. A boric may be prepared in a large pan and cut into portions after baking, or as individual pastries. The top of the boric is often sprinkled with sesame seeds. Topic: Origin and name. It may have been invented in the homeland of wheat, what is now modern Turkey, in the Anatolian provinces of the Ottoman Empire. It became a popular element of Ottoman cuisine, or it may date back earlier to the classical era of the Eastern Mediterranean region. Boric may have its origins in Turkish cuisine and may be one of its most significant and, in fact, ancient elements of the Turkish cuisine, having been developed by the Turks of Central Asia before their westward migration to Anatolia in the late Middle Ages, or it may be a descendant of the pre-existing Eastern Roman Byzantine Anatolian dish N. Tyritas placuntas Byzantine Greek N. Tyritas placuntas cheesy placenta itself a descendant of placenta, the classical baked layered dough and cheese dish of ancient Roman cuisine. Cato included a recipe for placenta in his De Agri Cultura 160 BC. Shape the placenta as follows, place a single row of tracta along the whole length of the base dough. This is then covered with the mixture cheese and honey from the mortar. Place another row of tracta on top and go on doing so until all the cheese and honey have been used up. Finish with a layer of tracta. Place the placenta in the oven and put a preheated lid on top of it. The word boric derives from the Turkish language and refers to any dish made with yufka. Tietz proposes that the word comes from the Turkic root berk to twist. Savordian offers various alternative etymologies, all of them based on a fronted vowel, o, or, u. Tietze's proposed source, bur, with a backed vowel, u, for buric, boric, with fronted vowels, is not included, because sound harmony would dictate a suffix, aq, with a harmonized, backed, q. Turkic languages in Arabic orthography, however, invariably write k and not q which rules out bur, which has a backed vowel, u, at its core. The tatar boregi tatar boric is a cheese and mint-filled alternative name for the dumpling-like dish called monti which very much resemble ravioli. Distribution and variants Boric is very popular in the cuisines of the former Ottoman Empire, especially in North Africa and throughout the Balkans. The southern Slavic cuisines also feature derivatives of the boric. Boric is also part of Mizrahi and Sephardic Jewish traditions. They have been enthusiastically adopted by the Ottoman Jewish communities, and have been described, along with boyos de pan and bulemas, as forming the trio of preeminent Ottoman Jewish pastries. Turkey Turkey enjoys a wide variety of regional variations of boric among the different cultures and ethnicities composing it, including Su boregi water boric is one of the most common types. Sheets of dough are boiled briefly in large pans, then a mixture of feta cheese and parsley or in an alternative recipe minced meat, onions, tomato sauce and oil is scattered between the layers. The whole thing is brushed with butter and laid in a masonry oven to cook. It may be thought of as a drier, less saucy version of the Italian lasagna. Sigara boregi, cigarette boric or kalam boregi, pen boric, a smaller cylindrical variety is often filled with feta cheese, potato, parsley and sometimes with minced meat or sausage. A variety of vegetables, herbs and spices are used in borics, such as spinach, nettle, leek and courgette and usually ground black pepper. The name Kalam Boregi was adopted in September 2011 by some Turkish pastry organizations in order to avoid alluding to smoking. Pakanga Boregi, is a traditional Sephardic Jewish specialty of Istanbul filled with pastirma or kasser, and julienne green peppers fried in olive oil and eaten as a meze. Saray Boregi palace boric is a layered boric where fresh butter is rolled between each of the dough sheets. Talas boregi or nems boregi or Austrian boric, is a small square boric mostly filled with lamb cubes and green peas, that has starchier yufka sheets, making it puffy and crispy. 
Kol boregi is prepared in long rolls, either rounded or lined, and filled with either minced meat, feta cheese, spinach or potato and baked at a low temperature. Serrier boregi is a smaller and a little fattier version of the Kol boregi, named after Serrier, a district of Istanbul. Gul boregi, rose boric, also known as uvarlik boregi, round or spiral boric, are rolled into small spirals and have a spicier filling than other boric. Sig boric or cyboric, raw boric, is a half round shaped boric filled with raw minced meat and fried in oil on the concave side of the sack. Very popular in places with a thriving Tatar community, such as Eskishahir, Palatli, and Konya. Toborik is another Tatar variety, similar to a sig boric, but baked either on the convex side of the sack, or in a masonry oven instead of being fried in oil. Laz boregi, a specialty of the Riz region, is a sweet version, filled with muhalabi Ottoman-style milk pudding or custard and served sprinkled with powdered sugar. It's similar with Greek bugitsa. Kurt boregi is similar to Laz boregi, without the custard filling. It is also called shade, plain boric and served with fine powdered sugar. Most of the time, the word boric is accompanied in Turkish by a descriptive word referring to the shape, ingredients of the pastry, for the cooking methods or fur or a specific region where it is typically prepared, as in the above kol boregi, su boregi, talas boregi, or seriyer boregi. <laughs> Albanian bayrek or lakrar In Albania, this dish is called bayrek or lakrar. In Kosovo and few other regions bayrek is also known as pite. The most common fillings include, cheese especially G's, salted curd cheese, ground meat and onions ragu -style filling, spinach and eggs, milk and eggs with pre-baked dough layers, but it can also be made with tomato and onions, peppers and beans, potato or a sweet filling of pumpkin, nettles known as bayrek mi hithra, etc. Lacquer generally would have a filling of greens, laker being an Albanian word for cabbage but in this context an abbreviation of laker e eager, a term which describes a family of green leaf vegetables i.e. sorrel, dandelion, skerel, katsir, etc. Bayrek is traditionally made with several layers of dough that have been thinly rolled out by hand. The final form can be small, individual triangles, especially from street vendors called bayrektor which sell bayrek and other traditional pastries and drinks. It can also be made as one large bayrek that is cut into smaller pieces. There are different regional variations of bayrek. It can be served cold or hot. <laughs> Eastern Arabian boric Arab boric is often stuffed with minced or diced lamb or beef, or a mixture of the two. Various herbs and spices are used to flavor the meat, including, turmeric, fresh parsley and nutmeg, and concentrated pomegranate juice, which gives the mixture a unique sweet and tangy taste. Fried or caramelized onions are usually added to the meat, as well as the traditional Arab staple of fried almonds and sultanas or raisins. Traditional Arab cheeses, including Jibin Baladi and Jibin Arab are often used instead of, or together with the meat. The mixture is wrapped in a sheet of dough, and then fried or deep fried until crisp, and resembles a large egg roll. While most boric are made with phyllo, some traditional cooks and those in the tribal areas prefer a hand-kneaded dough. Arab boric are most often served with other, dry, Foods including kiba, with a jajik dip yogurt, cucumber and garlic dip forming an integral part of a traditional mise meal. <inaudible> Armenian Bioric In Armenia, Bioric, bioric, or boric, boric consists of dough, or phyllo dough, folded into triangles and stuffed with cheese, spinach or ground beef, and the filling is typically spiced. A popular combination is spinach, feta, cottage cheese, or pot cheese, and a splash of anise-flavored liquor, such as reiki. Topic: <inaudible> Assyrian beric. Assyrian beric is usually stuffed with spiced ground beef, though potatoes are also sometimes used instead. The stuffing is wrapped in a sheet of dough and then fried in oil, and resembles egg rolls. Bulgarian bayuric 
The Bulgarian version of the pastry, locally called Bayuric Cyrillic, Beric is typically regarded as a variation of banitsa, banica a similar Bulgarian dish. Bulgarian bayuric is a type of banitsa with seren cheese, the difference being that bayuric also has eggs added. In Bulgarian, the word bayuric has also come to be applied to other dishes similarly prepared with cheese and eggs, such as chushka bayuric, kuska beric, a peeled and roasted pepper filled with cheese, and tikvichka bayuric, tikvika beric, blanched or uncooked bits of squash with eggs filling. Greek boreki, borakaki, bugitsa, and pita In Greece, boreki or borakaki the diminutive form of the word, and Cyprus poreki, poreki in the Greek dialects of the island are small pastries made with phyllo dough or with pastry crust. Pastries in the boric family are also called pita pie, teropita, spanakopita and so on. A special type of boreki is found in the local cuisine of Crete and especially in the area of Chania. It is a pie filled with sliced zucchini, sliced potatoes, mizithra or feta cheese and spearmint, and may be baked with or without a thick top crust of phyllo. In Venetian Corfu, boreki was also called barish, and filled with meat and leafy greens. Galactoboreco is a syrupy phyllo pastry filled with custard, common throughout Greece and Cyprus. In the Epirus, skur emporek derives from the Turkish seker boric. Sugar boric is a small rosewater flavored marzipan sweet. The Pontian Greek paroski, paroski derives its name from boric too. It's almost identical in name and form to paroshki, Russian piroshki, which is of Slavic origin and popular in Russia and further east. Topic: Israel In Israel, burekas, Hebrew, birks became popular as Sephardic Jewish immigrants who settled there cooked the cuisine of their native countries. Burekas can be found made from either phyllo dough or puff pastry filled with various fillings. The most popular fillings are salty cheese and mashed potato, with other fillings including mushrooms, ground meat, sweet potato, chickpeas, olives, spinach, eggplant and pizza flavor. Most burekas in Israel are made with margarine-based doughs rather than butter-based doughs so that at least the non-cheese-filled varieties can be eaten along with either milk meals or meat meals in accordance with the kosher prohibition against mixing milk and meat at the same meal. Israeli burekas come in several shapes and are often sprinkled with seeds. The shapes and choice of seeds are usually indicative of their fillings and have become fairly standard among small bakeries and large factories alike. For example, salty cheese Bulgarian cheese filled as well as zafat cheese from the city of Safed with zada filled burekas are usually somewhat flat triangles with white sesame seeds on top. Less salty cheese filled are semicircular and usually made with puff pastry. Potato filled or sesame topped flat squares or rectangles made with phyllo and tend to be less oily than most other versions. Mushroom filled or bulging triangles with poppy seeds. Tuna filled or bulging triangles with nigella seeds. Eggplant filled or cylindrical with nigella seeds. Bean sprout filled or cylindrical without seeds. Spinach filled or either cylindrical with sesame seeds or made with a very delicate, oily phyllo dough shaped into round spirals. Burekas with a pizza sauce are often round spirals rising toward the middle or sometimes cylindrical without seeds, differentiated from the bean sprout filled siliders without seeds by the red sauce oozing out the ends. Burekas can also be found with mashed chickpeas, tuna and chickpea mix, pumpkin and even small cocktail frankfurters. Another variation filled with meat beef, chicken or lamb, pine nuts, parsley and spices are eaten mainly as a main dish but sometimes as mies. The North African version, breek can also be found in Israel. Burekas come in small, snack, size, often available in self-service bakeries, and sizes as large as 4 or 5 inches. The larger ones can serve as a snack or a meal, and can be sliced open, and stuffed with hard-boiled egg, pickles, tomatoes and sahaic, a spicy Yemenite paste. Supermarkets stock a wide selection of frozen raw dough burekas ready for home baking. Bakeries and street vendors dealing exclusively in burekas can be found in most Israeli cities. Small coffee shop type establishments as well as lottery and sports betting parlors serving burekas and coffee can also be found. Meat burekas are less common at bakeries and are considered something which is to be made at home. 
Meat burekas are made from lamb, beef or chicken mixed with onion, parsley, coriander, or mint, pine nuts and spices, they are served as hot mees. The use of margarine in burekas has caused some controversy in Israel due to a general trend of moving away from trans fats, which are found in many margarines. Burekas have given their name to burekas films, a peculiarly Israeli genre of comic melodramas or tearjerkers based on ethnic stereotypes. Topic: <inaudible> Italy. In certain Italian towns of Emilia-Romagna that were formerly city-states such as Ferrara and Modena, there can still be encountered a half-moon-shaped sweet pastry called barish or barich which has been described as a medieval relic of the Ottoman-inspired cuisine of the Jewish communities that lived in certain towns of the area. There can be distinguished the barish ferrarisi, to which grappa is being added and which are often filled with mandarin marmalade and which are sometimes called in ferraris ladino barishitas. They resemble in shape and taste the Greek korobides, which are pate brise like shortbreads that differ from their Middle Eastern counterparts by having also alcohol such as brandy or mastica added to them. <laughs> Former Yugoslavia In the nations established or re-established in the stead of the territories of the former Yugoslavia, barak is regularly available at most bakeries, and usually eaten as fast food. It is often consumed with yogurt. Apart from being sold at bakeries, barak is served in specialized stores selling boric or pitas and yogurt exclusively. <laughs> Spain and Portugal In the former Yugoslavia, barak, also known as pita in Bosnia and Herzegovina exclusively, is an extremely common dish, made with yufka and the Bosnian variant is arguably the most regionally prominent, it may be eaten for any meal of the day. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, the barak is a meat-filled pastry, traditionally rolled in a spiral and cut into sections for serving. The same spiral filled with cottage cheese is called cernica, with spinach and cheese zelyanica, with potatoes kromparusa, and all of them are generically referred to as pita. Eggs are used as a binding agent when making cernica and zelyanica. This kind of pastry is also popular in Croatia, where it was imported by Bosnian Croats, and is usually called rilani beric in Serbian towns, Bosnian pastry dishes were imported by war refugees in the 1990s, and are usually called Sarajevski pite or Bozanski pite Sarajevan pies or Bosnian pies. Similar dishes, although somewhat wider and with thinner dough layers, are called saviaka or just pita in Serbia. These are usually homemade and not traditionally offered in bakeries. In 2012, Lonely Planet included the Bosnian barak in their The World's Best Street Food. Book. Topic: <inaudible> Round Beric in Serbia, Macedonia, Croatia, Montenegro, and Slovenia. In Serbia, Albania, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo, Macedonia, Croatia, Montenegro, and Slovenia, beric is made from layers of dough, alternating with layers of other fillings in a circular baking pan, and then topped with a last layer of dough. Traditionally it may be baked with no filling praisin, meaning empty, with stewed minced meat and onions, or with cheese. Modern bakeries offer cheese and spinach, apple, sour cherries, potato, mushroom and pizza barrack, as well. The recipe for «round» barrack was developed in the Serbian town of Niz. In 1498, it was introduced by a famous Turkish baker, Mehmed Oglu from Istanbul. Eventually Beric spread from the southeast southern Serbia, Kosovo and Macedonia to the rest of Yugoslavia. Niz hosts an annual Beric competition and festival called Beregziada. In 2005, a 100 kg £220 Beric was made, with a diameter of 2 meters, approximately 6 feet, and it is considered to have been the world biggest Beric ever made. In Slovenia, Beric is one of the most popular fast food dishes, but at least one researcher found that it is viewed negatively by Slovenes due to their prejudices towards immigrants, especially those from other countries of former Yugoslavia. A publication of a diploma thesis on this at the Faculty of Social Sciences of the University of Ljubljana in 2010 stirred controversy regarding the appropriateness of the topic. 
The mentor of the student that had written the thesis described the topic as legitimate and barrack as denoting primitive behavior in Slovenia in spite of it being a sophisticated food. He explained the controversy as a good example of the conclusions of the student. Actually, already in 2008, an employee of the Scientific Research Center of the Slovenian Academy of Sciences and Arts SRC Sasa had attained his PhD degree with a thesis on metabaric at the University of Nova Gorica. <laughs> Crimea Cyboric, a national dish of the Crimean Tatars, is made from unleavened dough filled with ground lamb, onions and spices, fried in oil. It is a common street food in countries that were once part of the USSR. Cheburik is the Russian pronunciation of cyboric, which means, "...delicious barak", or, "...raw boric". Romania <inaudible> <inaudible> In Romania, the food falls under the name placinta and is most often made with cheese or cheese and spinach. In Dobrogea, eastern territory that used to be a Turkish province, one can find both the Turkish influence, placinta dobrogina either filled with cheese or with minced meat and served with sheep yogurt or the Tatar street food suburic, a deep-fried half-moon cheese-filled dough. Moldova. The regional cuisine of the Moldavian West Bank of the Pruths still yields a type of dumpling-like food called burakius sometimes called burakite which is described as dough in the shape of a ravioli-like square which is filled with mushrooms such as bolitus edulis, and sealed around its edges and then tossed and subsequently boiled in borscht like soups or korbas. They are traditionally eaten in the last day of fasting at the time of the Christmas Eve. It is not clear if the Burakius derive their name from the Turco-Greek Boric which is a distinct possibility given the fact that Ottoman Moldavia was ruled for many decades by dynasties of Greek Phanariotes who encouraged Greek colonists to settle in the area, so at the receiving end of cultural and culinary influences coming from them, or it takes its name from that of the mushroom Belitis Beret in its Romanian language rhoticized version, and it meant «mushroom» as well as «sponge» by the pattern of the ravioli, which were named after the Italian name of the turnip with which they were once filled. <inaudible> Tunisian and Algerian Breek Breek, pronounced Breek is a Tunisian and Algerian derivative of the boric consisting of thin malsoka pastry around a filling, commonly deep-fried. The best known version is the egg breek, a whole egg in a triangular pastry pocket with chopped onion, tuna, harissa and parsley. Breek pastry is made by slapping a sticky lump of dough onto a hot non-stick surface in overlapping circles to produce the desired size and cooked for a minute or two. Typical fillings include tuna, ground meat, chopped boiled egg, chicken, shrimp, or anchovies garnished with a fried egg and harissa, capers, or cheese. The Tunisian tradition is that the bride-to-be's mother makes a breek for the potential bridegroom. If the bridegroom eats it without spilling any of the egg yolk he may marry the bride. The dough sheets themselves, are also referred to as walsuka or varka. <laughs> See also <laughs>